The word Egypt is from a Greek translation of Egypto. Greek is an Indo-European language. Egypto, a replacement word for the lands and inhabitants of ancient Mizraim, meant two lands. The two lands were under rulership by Mizraim, son of Ham, grandson of Noah, but was not the name of the lands which he ruled. That's for another lecture. The inhabitants of Mizraim called their kings Nigger, not Pharaohs, which is another Greek hijack. Nigger meant black god because the Nigger kings were seen as representation of the sun and their sun god. The ancient Nigger kings, who were pure black African Hamites, saw black skin as sacred and a direct blessings from their sun god, Aten. The recognition of the Nigger kings was a living god and the black skin as a blessing spread to other cultures. In fact, the term nigger was incorporated into the Amharic Shemitic language as niggas or niggas, which means king of kings, and was used as a title of the sovereign of Ethiopia. The word Ethiopia also is another Greek hijack for the territories which biblical Cush, a Hamite, ruled. The first people to corrupt the term nigger was the modern Roman invaders of Egypt who may have heard the term used to describe the leader of Egypt or Nubia. The term nigger was later used to mean any black negroid person that the Romans saw in Africa or anywhere else. It is also known that when the Romans first encountered African Hamites, they describe their hairstyles as dreadful locks. So therefore, my people, stop calling your beautiful natural locks dreadlocks. To continue, the English colonizers borrowed the term Negro from the Spanish. The English captive owners degraded and defiled the entire name by enslaving the Negro and turning the original term nigger into the racist byword nigger. And that's just one of many things that have been turned upside down. The end.